Hello, Hampton Bay's middle school community. My name is Matt Balistrieri. I am the technology teacher here at the middle school. This year, I will be teaching all grades in the middle school, five through eight, at different points throughout the year. Some students will have me, not all, depending on their schedule. Schedules have been a little bit different this year um, due to the hybrid scheduling system that we've implemented. Either way, whichever grade level your child is in, they are all going to see me in the same fashion. If they're in the school, they get to see me face to face. If they're home, they'll have the ability to see me through the Google Meet links that they have shared in all of their Google calendars. For all of our classes, there is an attendance requirement for technology. So all students are asked to sign into their Google Classroom at the beginning of each class and to complete the Google Classroom attendance question that is posted daily for their assigned class. They will simply write here or hello in the, the turn in section and then click that turn in button and they will get credit for class. If there is an assigned Google Meet for that day as well, they are encouraged and required to join that Google Meet for that class to ensure that they are getting all the directions and opportunities to ask questions that they can throughout the period. If your student isn't joining the Google Meet, there is a good chance that they are going to miss some instruction that our in-class students receive if they were not there. Often I like to post a video that is similar to the instruction that I am going to give in class. So whether or not the student can't make class on time or as scheduled, they can always go back and review those videos that I've posted for that daily lesson to complete that assignment. All materials and announcements will be posted in the Google Classroom. That is your go-to spot to see any information regarding our class. Currently, all projects and assignments are digital in nature, that they will be completed on a Chromebook. We are working at making our wood shop available here at the middle school so we can open up the opportunities to make physical projects again. Um, but that is a slow process and we're working on that. For our grading policy, all our assignments will be reviewed and graded individually. Um, this is very important back to that turn in button that all students, when they have completed their work to press that turn in button, it will give me a digital log of the date and the time that they've turned in their work. And it makes sure that the students who have turned in their work on time will receive full credit. At the end of the quarter, the grades will be converted to a satisfactory slash unsatisfactory on the effort and the participation that they put into that class and each of the daily assignments. As for supplies, all students are required to have a charged and functioning Chromebook for every class. If for whatever reason their Chromebook is not working, a key is broken, the screen breaks, we have our school IT department in-house to help fix their computers and also give them loaners as they deem necessary. That location is the old computer lab that is right next to the middle school library. So the students can turn in their Chromebooks during the school day and they should be able to receive a loaner for that school day until their physical computer is fixed or replaced. As for expectations, all work is to be completed during class time. There is no specific homework. The only reason that you should be doing work or students should be doing work outside of class time is because maybe they missed it. They had a band lesson, a chorus lesson, ukulele, or some other reason that they weren't able to attend class. That's the only reason you'll be doing work outside of our class time. So all the time that's allotted for each of our projects is calculated in however many days we assign to that project. Remote students are expected to log into their Google Meet each class for demonstrations and directions for every day. There will be a few days that we are working on a project that is going to take a couple of days, but you still need to log in and see if there are any other additional directions um, for you to hear that day. If there are any questions, that would be the time to either unmute yourself and ask me out loud, or you can type in the chat during class and I will answer you directly during class time. Extra help is available as needed. Every Monday that we have school, 
My dedicated office hours are from 9.02 a.m. to 9.43, which is the second period of the school day. And the link for that Google Meet is posted in the Google Calendar of your student's account. And it will be there throughout the entire school year or unless things change. My contact information, if you need to get in contact with me, right now the fastest means of communication is email and it is mbalistrary at hbschools.us. My phone number extension is 2129. Most of the day I am not where my phone is. So email is the fastest means of communication right now. I will typically get back to you within 24 hours, if not faster. Additionally, we have our Remind 101 texting system set up. So if you are not already a part of our class for each of the grade levels, if you send a text message with 81010 and using the following codes, either at HBMS Tech 5, Tech 6, Tech 7, or Tech 8, depending on what grade level you are in, you will get any announcements that I post. Plus, it also gives you another way to contact me, which is via text message. Um, so if I can, I will text you almost immediately back as you send me your messages, depending on what is happening in school. So email is preferred. Otherwise, you can use our Remind account here to reach out. Students can also use the Google Classroom comments section for each assignment that is posted. Comments can also be added on. So if a student has a specific question to a specific topic, they can put it in the right section and I will answer them through there if they don't need an immediate response. Other than that, any students that are listening, I'll see you in class shortly. Any parents, guardians, any adults that have further questions, please send me an email, reach out to me, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Have a good day and let's have a good year.